All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Enthusiast Experiment. Today is going to be a little bit different, but if you're used to the channel, you know that's pretty much every day. Uh, so, yep, one of the new things I'm jumping into is archery. I got a new release. I'm really excited to share with you guys. This will not be a review. It is purely an unboxing. All I did was cut open the envelope, slide it out. But it was really hard for me to find some information just around the product when I was actually shopping. So what I wanted to do is just give you guys a quick unboxing and let you have more of an in-depth look, uh, you know, because I was actually trying to find something like this when I was going to purchase this item. So let's take a look at it. Boom. So as I said, uh, this is more of an archery related video as that's something I'm kind of delving into right now. Wanted to get a really good release and this guy kept popping up over and over again. Um, huge fan of the folks over at Knock On TV. Thumbs up. Um, and a few other people have been using this saying it's really awesome. So decided to grab one. Again, this is, you know, just came in a, a manila envelope and slid it out. Just got it in today and wanted to show you guys. So again, this is purely an unboxing. Uh, I can give you thoughts and opinions and reviews and stuff later. Of course, after I have a bunch of hands-on time with it, if you all are interested, but let's check it out. So we got the release itself and then we'll get all this stuff out of here too. All right, so empty shell. Set that aside. Uh, just a little note, thanking for purchasing the Silverback. Eventually I would like to get the knock to it. Currently they're out of stock, but you know, when they get back in, I might pick one of those up as well. Uh, so he did actually have a video on setting up the Silverback, which you can see right here. You can pause and I might actually put a link in the description below, make it a little easier for everyone to find. Uh, that's a really great video as far as setting it up, which is not what this video is about, just purely unboxing. So if you guys do wanna purchase one of these, you can know what to expect, how it comes, what it looks like a little more in depth, because some of the videos show it from afar and it's kinda of hard to see what you're getting. Uh, here is just the insert that came in there. As it is a Carter release, so we'll set that aside. Um, this is some of the information on the evolution, which I believe this is based on. So I'll go up like that so you guys can see. And you can always pause if you want to read everything. A um, little more information there on installing, I guess, and removing triggers and springs and everything cool like that. Doesn't necessarily apply to this as that is not the evolution. It is, I think, just based on one. Um, they did throw in a sticker. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Knock on. Bam. Uh, we'll set that over there. Uh, came with the release, obviously. Uh, and then I'll get this a little closer to the camera so you can see. Had a little kit bag here with three screws and two Allen keys. And you can see right there. So you get the two hex keys and a 30, 50, and 59 pound spring. Not exactly sure what's in there now as there's no additional information. Um, that's something I was kind of worried about. I was really excited. Uh, to get this because they make really high quality products uh, and there's definitely a market for someone that wants to sell a high quality release with nice packaging and a lot of information surrounding the product and all that kind of stuff so that's something I was kind of worried about I don't have a tensioner scale or anything like that so setting it up you know I got to do a little bit of work here is the screw it's really hard to see in this lighting um, but there's an allen key down in there which is how you adjust the tightness uh, which um, Doug goes over and goes over in his video um, but it's pretty simple there is no triggers or switches or anything like that uh, what it is currently cocked this is something I couldn't find on how to do um, so this is your safety so when you're drawing back the bow you would have this depressed you could see it goes down just a little bit there that's the travel length um, so you would keep this depressed that is your safety you would have it on your D loop and you would pull your bow back uh, and then once you have the poundage set correctly you would be able to set off your safety and then continue to draw back and then this jaw would release. I don't have any material to show you guys what that would look like so I found a really crappy lanyard. This is not ideal obviously but just for demonstration purposes I'm pulling, holding the safety and then you guys can see when I let go of the safety I'm gonna try and do this on camera and I keep pulling and pulling and pulling and then it breaks. Um, it's supposed to do that so that's it releasing. Um, what I couldn't find online is how you actually cock it so what I wanted to do is show you guys that. So after a little trial and error, as there wasn't any instruction and I'm still kind of new to this stuff, again, starting from the basics, I really think there's still an opportunity out there for someone to really help people get through all these stages that maybe being a seasoned archer you kind of take for granted. Um, but all you have to do to cock it is actually push it back in place. Now, if I'm wrong, please tell me below in the comments so I don't keep doing that, but that's the only thing that I could find on here to actually cock it. This doesn't do anything. 
Uh, there's nothing here as you can see. That's again the adjustment screw, nothing on the inside. And there you go. And this is to, I guess, adjust your placements of where this sits in your hand. Again, not really much documentation on this. Again, I wish there's there was. There's definitely an opportunity for that. Um, again, holding the hand of the people that, like me, that are super duper beginning. Uh, really nice grip knurled there. Uh, it does feel like there's a little bit of, you can see it on my fingers, machine dust there. So I wish it was a little finer finished or blown off or something, but not a big deal. But again, this isn't a review. This could be a little bit smaller too. You can see how it overhangs. Just the fine details there being nitpicky. But so far, I'm really excited to uh, to get this thing put into use. It's just been an unboxing, no review. Again, I haven't shot with this yet, but I plan on doing it very soon. It is the Knock On Silverback release. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like a little more videos, I guess, surrounding my intro into archery. Um, and if you guys are yourself into archery, let me know what you think. Have you tried this release? Do you have other releases that you recommend? I'm all for everything, you know, any arrow uh, recommendations, anything like that. I'm all ears. Thank you guys for swinging by. I really appreciate you watching the video. I would also appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe so we can grow this channel together. And until we see each other again, take it easy.